Hi guys, and we're back from part two of what? We're making <gasps> sausage and peppers. Differently though. So first of all, I'm going to show you this great pan that was given to me for my birthday. It was given to me by one of my good friends named Gail. She is so cool. Love her to death. She will always be a great sister. So we're going to use this pan and we're going to put it on the eye. And we're going to drop some olive oil in there, just like that. Get that nice and hot. And I'm going to grab a wooden spoon that I don't have out. And now I do. So I'm gonna move everything over here, which is all of the spices that I need. I need Italian seasoning, a little hot peppers, some Parmesan cheese, some salt, and some garlic, which is like a really, 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 really great. So I'm gonna turn that down for right now. And we're gonna drop in the garlic, which is great. We're gonna drop in our Italian seasoning, which is great. We're gonna drop in our peppers, which is great. And we're gonna drop in our Parmesan. So I wanted to tell you the meat here is um, beef and pork. So it is an original Italian meat mix that we're going to mix within this. Sometimes you can mix in, you know, deer meat and other things like that, but I actually just want the beef and pork. So now I'm going to do a little salt. I'm going to open this up just like that. Oh, I, I don't have fingernails. Oh, here, here, here it is. I'm gonna just shake it in there like that. And now I'm gonna use my gloves. We're gonna put my gloves on because I don't like when people mix meat without gloves on and then I don't know what's in your fingernails and that's why people always say, you want a meatball? I made them myself. I'm like, oh no, thank you. No. <laughs> Sorry, if you know me and you know who I'm talking about, there's plenty of you. But let's get back to the meat. So now we're just gonna mix it nice and strong. Nice, here we go. And you only need a pound of meat. This is just a pound of meat because we're going to make sausage and peppers. You know, without sausage link and slicing it. So we're gonna mix that nice. And then after that's nice and mixed, you see that? And I love it. You try not to waste any of it. I'm going to take it over there and I'm going to bring the whole container over without touching the bottom over here. And I'm gonna move all of this over with my elbow. And I'm going to take one glove off, just like that. Get all the meat off of it. And I'm going to open up the garbage can with that glove. Throw it in, use my knee. And now I'm gonna just, the oil is nice and hot. I'm going to throw that meat in there. Here it's sizzling, isn't that great? And get all of the meat in there. I'm gonna put that in the sink. And we're gonna put this on medium. Now I'm gonna take, take, take off that other glove. And the way you take off that other glove is that you do the inside of your hand, pull it off, take the glove from the inside of the hand, open up your garbage can, throw it away, and use your knee. Okay, all of this here, you get last. So now, we're just going to mint that meat up. And as we're doing that, we're gonna let that meat cook. Gonna leave that in there, and we're going to bring our peppers over. And while we bring our peppers over, I'm going to show you a quick trick, which is really easy. So it doesn't harm anything but your paper towel. So you're going to get your cleaner and you're going to spray inside of the towel just like that. And then you're gonna put that back and then you're gonna take your towel and wipe your counter. Just in case. Gonna move everything else into your sink. Wipe everything off, put it inside. 
where you are cleaning at. Then you're gonna get a clean paper towel and brush it off nice. And then you're just going to close, oops, I dropped something, like that. Throw that in the garbage. If you touch something else, don't forget to always wash your hands after. Just really quickly, because you didn't touch anything major. Wipe your hands off. Go back to your meat, because it's getting nice and brown. Make sure you get that done. We're not adding any onions. We're not adding any garlic, because it's already in there. We are sauteing this meat so we can make sausage and pepper. Okay? My way. So now that all of that is going well, you want to get most of the raw parts cooked or sort of brown. Because once you do that, you're going to actually dice it and slice it to make it nice and mixed. So you can have a great stuffed pepper. Because we're having sauces and peppers, don't forget that. That looks good, huh? Really fast, really easy. This meal should only take you 45 minutes. So now that looks really nice. I'm going to cut it off. Take my used paper towel, use the drawer, close the drawer, and now we're just going to take off. Cutting board, bring it on the side, and we have onions and peppers that I already sliced and, and diced. This is the trick I'm going to show you. This is for the last ingredient to put in. So. Now we're going to, so, so I'm going to add that into the meat, I'm going to grab a paper towel because it's spilling a little, I'm going to place it here because this is for last, I'm going to put it, put it on the side with the peppers, and now I'm just going to mix the gravy into the meat. Because remember, it's about the peppers, not the sauce. And it's about the sausage, not the gravy. So we're gonna let that simmer now. I turned it off so we can cool off. And now we're going to start our peppers. So I already cleaned them, but the best thing to do, I left three of them. Where are they? Here's three. One, two, let me see if it's really three. Three, let me check, let me check them all. And we're going to peel the top of them just like this. Peel this off, just like that. And you're gonna leave a little bit of the core. So we're gonna peel that off just like that. It's really easy, not a problem. You don't wanna pull the whole core out because you don't want the peppers to leak. This one's okay. Just like that, I broke a little of the core off, it's not good, but it's okay. But then I'm gonna get the other one and I'm gonna peel this one off, see? Very, very, very easy. And leave that on. So, now, what we're going to do is that we're going to cut at least a half an inch off, or maybe a quarter of an inch off. Just like that, and we're going to make sure that we got room to put our meat in. Nothing in there. So then we're going to do this one too. I'm going to do that. Make sure there's nothing in there. And we're just going to slice them all just like that. If you need your hole to be a little bigger, then cut a little lower. But I don't think you want that because you want the whole pepper. I usually use yellow and red. I usually use more of the red. And I use two of the yellow. I really have a lot of yellow because I want the red to pop out. And why I'm saving these, I'm going to show you at the end. Do that. 
And with the yellow ones, they usually sell some all so I usually try not to cut too much of them off. I do that. And I usually try to pop them open with my finger like that. Get things done. And I do that. It really works out great. Trust me, you're gonna love this. The easiest way to make stuffed peppers. And these peppers usually have nothing in them, so it's really great. Open. Do that. Do that. Open. That. And now, here's where we start. We have all these peppers here. Now, we grab one of our cooling sides. That's what I call them. You grab your hot plate, bring it to the side. I don't have a spoon out. Who's not prepared? I think it's you. So now we're just gonna grab our bowl. The bowl is already pre-sprayed. And we're just gonna stuff them with me. That's all. It doesn't take much. If you break them, it's fine. But the meat should fit right in there. Great, right? Easy, this is so simple. And if you wanna do this the vegetarian way, the best thing to do is to get yourself a pepper, black beans, some onions, and you can get yourself some string beans or some spinach, and you sort of mix that together saute them and stuff your pepper and you can add some brown rice and for your gravy it's best if you can find some yellow tomatoes for color and when you do that you can make yellow gravy or yellow sauce so everything I'm doing here, you can do with the black beans and the spinach or the kale, however you want. It's just great that you can do it that way to make a vegan or a vegetarian meal out of it. There is no meat in here at all. So. really good here so this is how we stuff our peppers and we'll be right back so I can show you the finished product hi guys and we're back we're doing taste and those Sauces and peppers are ready, or peppers and sauces is ready. I told you, 20 minutes. I'm gonna show you how to do it a different way. Nothing has to be always the same. I'll give you a quick peek. And why I say a quick peek is because... Here they are. Look at that. This is my sausage and peppers. Don't they look delicious? I'm going to serve this over some rice, but not today because my father always said it's best to let lasagna and stuffed peppers and sausage and peppers to sit and let the flavors melt. Cause it tastes better the next day. 
So this is dinner for tomorrow. So hey now, tomorrow now, told you I would show you how to do onions and peppers and what? And sausage. Did you hear me? I said onions. But it's peppers and sausages, sausages and peppers, and we're out. And I'll see you again when we're doing roast pork, because they're begging me to do it. But hey now, somehow now, I'll see you again. This is Monty Style doing taste, and we're done. Sausages and peppers, done. Hey, bye.